to create an atmosphere that is about balance and is a natural speed, quietness, a calmness, no stress, but going. So there's a repetition in the music. So the minimal music from, uh, from Philip Glass is very suitable for this. We love that music because it brings you in a certain state of mind that you don't have to really think, but you're present. And we, that's also what we want to try want to do with the, the artworks we have, yeah. I think we started to work with this theme of humans, nature and technology and how these aspects come together already in 2005. And uh, this work, uh, Fragile Future, was the, the, the starting point of that. And by gluing real dandelion seeds on LED lights and merging that with an electrical system, I saw uh, a balance coming into place between nature and technology and before that moment I had always seen technology as the enemy of nature and yet here was a creation that looked very harmonious and, and in balance and uh, since then we have tried to create situations of balance that feel like nature but also involve uh, technology. So we are trying to uh, find an abstract um, method that you see in many different aspects of nature. So, for instance, in 20 steps is the, the sinus movement, basically. This is how energy is transported, how light is transported, how sound is transported, how things move. It's the way how um, the sea works, it's the way also how mountains are created by forces that push each other forward. It's a very elemental, important type of movement and it's really about displacement of mass and, and energy. There are also other types of movement and we are studying these movements and yes you can see the sea in it, you can see a bird flapping in it, but these movements are very uh, understandable on a deeper, I think almost unconscious level and we want to tap into that layer, we want to remind ourselves of that we're being part of nature, that we understand those movements, that we also have these movements in ourselves. And uh, so, yeah, we, st we study that and, and use that to see what, that, what this type of movement means in, in the lives of people. Our shy lights have different states of, of being, so sometimes they're shy and in, in, uh, we programmed a, a choreography, so it's a, a sequence, it's not just an algorithm, it doesn't react to people, it's really we thought of um, a sequence that starts uh, shy and, and almost just not existing, trying out, and then start to become more confident and blossoming, and then start to interact with, with the environment. So we like, with this work, to explore the different states of being and also create emotion in this artwork, in this movement. And um, yeah, we, we, we try to achieve that with, with, with the technology behind it.